This tutorial covers adding objects to the stage. I have talked about this in other tutorials, but I'd like to do it in a bit more detail. There are three major stages to creating animation. First is adding objects to the stage. Second is uh, doing things with the objects, moving them around on the timeline, changing properties, adding effects. I'll talk about that in another tutorial. The third is exporting as HTML5, for example. I'll start by adding simple static text. I can change the web font size, style, and I can indicate if it's a Google web font, and Lato is a Google web font. adding dynamic text, which is scrollable text field. I can add some text. Change font, size, style, indicate if it's a Google web font. Tahoma is. Importing an image. An image is just a rectangle with a bitmap fill. I could just as easily change this to another fill, gradient or solid color. Wrong thing. Sprite sheet. This is from the CreateJS website. I need to know the offset for each of the images. A sprite sheet is a series of small images making up a big image. So I need to know what that uh, image offset is for each of the images. And it's this. And there are 64 frames in the sprite sheet, in this sprite sheet. Sprite sheets are extremely powerful because you can control them through JavaScript. You can set up animation sequences and name the sequences and then control the sequences through JavaScript. You can also apply motion paths, but you can apply motion paths to virtually anything you add to the stage. Let's just play this as we have it right now. SVG graphic. It's very, very simple. It's just one shape. It's just a radial gradient and I can easily change that gradient. Let's change, I can add more bands or I can change the placement of the band and I can change that color to something else. Ooh, that's ugly. They're all ugly, okay. Uh, let's see. Oops, I don't want that one, I want this one. Okay, I'm adding a div element with custom HTML. So it can be any HTML inside this div element. I'm gonna do something very simple. I'm just gonna going make it a paragraph. Oops, P. And I can change the styling. I can uh, make the border uh, dotted black or add padding, whatever. And let's play this so far. Okay. I'm running out of room here. Um, let me get rid of this one. Simple line, uh, you click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse, double click when you're finished. I can 
change the line thickness. I can change the line color. I can add a primitive shape like a circle. Uh, I can fill it with solid color, gradient color, or image. Let's fill it with the same image we used before. And since it's a little offset there, let me shift the image. Okay. This is uh, very similar to line. You could just click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse, double click when I'm finished. And again, I can fill it with a solid color gradient or uh, image. And this is freehand drawing. I just move the mouse and release the mouse when I'm finished. I can control the density of points under preferences, freehand drawing, medium density of points. And that's all I'm going to talk about right now. Uh, next uh, tutorial, I'd like to discuss more about doing things with objects.